Arizona police opened fire yesterday on a big rig driver who led them on a high-speed chase near Flagstaff. Spike strips ended the pursuit. No one was hurt, but in, on average, someone is reportedly killed almost every day in a high-speed police chase. Only on CBS This Morning, Dean Reynolds shows us how one agency is trying to prevent those chases by shooting something other than bullets at a suspect's car. High speeds, wet roads. Adrenaline pumping cops and robbers pursuits are something of a TV Whoa. addiction. Whoa. Police departments across the country are looking for a safer way to nab suspects on the run. He played a game of Mercedes pinball. I'm going to take my loading tool. And now more than 50 agencies are using a system invented by a company called Star Chase, whose president is Trevor Fishbach. We've had zero fatalities. Zero injuries, um, zero property damage, and zero liability. This is how it works. Compressed air units are installed in the grill of police cruisers containing two four and a half inch projectiles packed with GPS satellite trackers and coated with enough adhesive to make them stick to a fleeing vehicle. When a suspect runs from a traffic stop, an officer can fire the projectiles at the suspect's car and basically relax. No need for sirens or lights or 90 mile an hour chases that could kill people. Computers read the GPS signal and track the vehicle in question. A trial of the Star Chase system has been underway in Milwaukee since December. I've actually had a lot of success with it. Officer Kim Lestrilla controls the projectiles from a button on her dashboard or a fob in her hand. And at this point, he's starting to make a break for yep. it. And you do that. Right now, the projectiles stick about 50% of the time, though with training, Milwaukee expects that number to be about 75%. And they do have some trouble in wet conditions. But there's no question that the technology reduces stress for the police and the suspects. The longer they go unpursued, the more their driving behavior settles down because they don't want to get killed either. But they do get arrested. Of 28 successful uses of Star Chase in its trial period, 17 people were taken into custody and 26 stolen cars were recovered. Each unit costs about five grand. That's a lot of money. But when you consider that the number one cause of death for police officers in this country involves car crashes, it could be money well spent. For CBS This Morning, Dean Reynolds, Milwaukee. This is a really good idea, I think, because so many times you're off to the races with these car chases for minor offenses <clears throat> when you just let them go, but now you can catch them without I thought you were going to say it's a really good idea to put a sticker on your book. <laughs> that too. <laughs> that too. But didn't you guys think it was a good I idea? I agree. I agree. It seems easy to do. And easy to do.